Hello friends, welcome to EduTap and also welcome to the series which we have started for IBPS A4 mains exam that is agriculture and this is lecture 26 in that series and in this lecture we are going to do few important MCQs on the various equipment that, that is you know used in agriculture meteorology. So friends, I have one more announcement. We at EduTap, we have launched courses for IBPS A4 2020-21 and as I have promised, we have launched the courses for IBPS A4 mains 2020-21 and you can find the links to the uh, demo courses as well as payment links in the description box below. So you can go through that and avail the offer. So friends, here comes the first question and the question says a device that is used for measuring wind speed is called as now that device is called as anemometer. So friends, this is the cup anemometer that is used to, to you know, measure the speed of the wind and is the most common uh, you know, instrument that is used in various weather stations and animos. It means wind in Greek. From that they have uh, uh, got this name. And a simple type of anemometer. This was invented in first in 1845 by Dr. John Thomas Romney Robinson. And which consisted of four hemispherical cups mounted on horizontal arms. Which were mounted on a vertical shaft as you can see. That was four cups and here you, you can see three cups. Now the three cup anemometer is developed by Canadian John Patterson in 1926 and that is what that is used mostly uh, currently. So friends next question says hygrometer is used to measure. Now hygrometer is used to measure relative humidity. The amount of the humidity that is present in the air as you can see here this is the hygrometer and there are may you know various types of uh, hygrometers like mechanical hygrometers that use human hair or other fibers that change their length in response to the humidity that is present in that atmosphere in which they are present so based on that one uh, you know uh, one can understand how much uh, you know humidity is present in the air and electronic hygrometers they use materials with electrical properties that change in response to the humidity that is present in that particular environment and psychrometers they use two thermometers one dry and other wet based on that also you know uh, the scientists they or the meteorologist they get the uh, humidity range in the atmosphere now friends next comes is Potometer is used to measure. Now, potometer is an instrument or the equipment that is used to measure trans. So, friends, potometer, which is also called as transpirometer, is a device that is used to measure the rate of water uptake by, by a leafy shoot. Now, whatever the water uptake is there, which is almost equal to the water loss through transmission. This is what the principle behind the potometer and this is the basic structure of a potometer. And now the cause of water uptake are both two. One is photosynthesis. Yes, water is required for photosynthesis and the other is transpiration. So, this is how they can be uh, you know, calculated the amount of transpiration that happens with the help of a potometer. Now there are two main types of potometers. One is bubble potometer and the other is mass potometer. So friends here comes the next question. Pyranometer is used to measure. See pyranometer is used to measure short wave radiation see here whenever the sunlight is received by the earth based on the wavelength of the sunlight they can be either short wave long wave visible light all these are the various types you know based on the wavelength of the sunlight that has been received by the earth so here pyranometer in particular it is used to measure this short wave radiation so friends, a pyranometer is used to measure the short wave radiation that we have already seen on a planar surface and here it is designed to measure the solar radiation flux density from the hemisphere above and how within the range 
within the wavelength range this is the wavelength range that it can determine that is 0.3 micrometers to 3 micrometers and there are two major types of pyranometers one is thermopile pyranometer and the other is photovoltaic pyranometer so friends here comes the next question an odometer is used to measure odometer you know it is used to measure precipitation so friends odometer which is also known as rain gauge pluviometer or an ombrometer and this is an instrument especially used to measure the amount of precipitation that to liquid precipitation not snow or hail or something and it is it can determine that you know measure the precipitation over an area in a predefined period of time and you know based on the there are various types of odometers one is us standard rain gauge tipping bucket rain gauge weighing precipitation rain gauge you know various factors which are involved in measuring that these are on uh, various types so friends here comes the most awaited section of the lecture that is answer of the day and in the last lecture i had asked you a question that's a definition exactly the quantity of water that is required for normal crop growth and the normal yield in a particular period of time at a place and that may you know that water requirement can be uh, you know uh, given by the supplied by uh, you know by precipitation or by irrigation or even by both also that is termed as water requirement of a crop now here water is needed mainly to meet the demand of evaporation transpiration and metabolic activity of plant which is together known as consumptive use and so here the water requirement can be considered as irrigation water in centimeters plus effective rainfall in centimeters plus soil profile contribution all these can be together called as the water requirement of the crop so friends here comes the question of the day and for today's lecture the question is which type of irrigation method is useful when leaching is required to remove the salts from the soil profile see there are various types of irrigation methods that can be done but everything here also needs to be done scientifically so for those soils where salts are present high level of salts are present you know leaching with the help of leaching that can be removed now of all the types of irrigation methods this is there is one kind of irrigation method that is highly useful when leaching needs to be done to remove the salts from the soil profile now what is that type of uh, irrigation method so thank you very much friends for watching this video and if you have any queries please write to us at hello@edutab.co.in and if you have any queries you can even reach us at the number given here thank you very much